Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Timpu, Bhutan. Today is our final full day in Timpu. We're still going to be in Bhutan for another week or so, but we're going to be traveling starting tomorrow to some of the districts. So this is our last full day. We have kind of a loose schedule today, but I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. We are going to have a home-cooked Bhutanese meal tonight. Thank you very much for directions. Bye-bye. Thank you. I think we have just arrived at Cha's restaurant and we well, that was quite a long walk. I think it took over an hour uh, and we got a little bit lost getting here but we asked some nice ladies and they directed us right here and even walked us here. We were heading on the wrong road so that was really nice of them. And we're here now at Cha's Bistro. This is a bistro style restaurant and they serve kind of a mix of Western Bhutanese and Chinese, uh, kind of a fusion, but mostly Western style dishes. This one is egg pasta. And so pasta and actually like fried egg on top with maybe a sprinkle of oregano maybe. And I have to say that after that walk to get here, I am pretty hungry. Also, I'm gonna scoop some rice onto my plate. This dish is chicken with garlic sauce and then topped with a bunch of cilantro. And then he mentioned that one of the signature dishes is the, the ribs, pork ribs, and it looks like, a, looks like a barbecue sauce. And then this dish is emadatsi, which is the famous Bhutanese dish, and there's actually like some shredded cheese on top of it, and then a gravyish sauce with chilies. But yeah, this is kind of a fusion-y looking uh, emadatsi. I think that would go well with the noodles. And then this looks really good, just sauteed uh, cauliflower and carrots. Yeah, that looks really good. And then we also got another vegetable dish of just broccoli and mushrooms, I think. Oh yeah, it looks really good freshly sauteed or stir-fried, okay. I'm gonna start with some of that chicken. Oh, I think that's boneless. Oh, how convenient. Oh no, there's a little bone. Those are like chunks of chicken in, taste to me very similar to a brown gravy. Um, maybe with a little bit of a garlicky flavor. Next up for the pork rib, and I think I'm gonna take my spoon and add a little bit more of that that uh, barbecue sauce. And I think I should try to take that off the bone. Or maybe I should just pick it up. Maybe picking it up will be easier. Mmm. Yeah, that is a good meaty rib. Um, and then that's like a kind of a, a sweet and just slightly tangy barbecue sauce. Okay, and then the emadatsi with some of that those noodles. Oh, and the egg. I like the, the chopped up fried egg on there. Oh, I got rice with that too. Mmm, that's like cheesy pasta with green chilies in it. Oh. Mmm, that's really good. That is just nice and freshly stir-fried, I think. And then you can really taste the kind of smokiness of it. And then I like how it's just lightly stir-fried so it's still crisp. Oh yeah, and same story with the cauliflower flour and the carrots. Uh, they're still crisp, yeah, just lightly stir-fried. I think that broccoli is my favorite dish. Really good broccoli and just stir fried like I like it, Chinese style. I really like the vegetables in Bhutan because many of them are organic and just grown on the, the side of the mountain and they have such vibrant like natural sweetness and flavor to them. 
that turned out to be a really good meal. That was really good, solid Western food with just a hint of a Bhutanese flavor to it. Even the emadatsi, it tasted like a French dish, but just with those Bhutanese chilies in the mix. And so Ying and I actually both quite enjoyed that meal. Uh, the owner is a former hotel chef, and so he knows a lot about Western cooking. Uh, I think we're gonna walk back from here towards town. For our next stop this afternoon, we are scheduled to go to Le Meridian Hotel, which is one of the most fancy hotels in Timpu, and we're supposed to have afternoon tea there. This is gonna be a, a luxury experience in Timpu. And they have a couple of different restaurants here, but we are at the bar now and having a cup of coffee, and I just ordered a plate of chicken tikka, which should be coming soon. This is sort of a kind of a space craft theme uh, with these, we got some big green relax chairs. Oh yeah, that is a good solid cup of Americano. Chicken tikka has just arrived. It has been so long since I've had just like a good solid piece of chicken. It looks so good. I'm gonna squeeze on some of this lime. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's so tender. Okay. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Let me taste a piece before adding sauce. Oh yeah, that is ridiculously good. Oh, it is coated in a yogurt, creamy, spice-filled sauce, and just that, yeah, cooked in the tandoor, that's delicious. It does feel so good to just eat like chicken protein steak like this. Oh, and then I'm gonna pair that with some of these beautiful onions. Oh. Mm-hmm. That is like a cilantro sauce. That took just a couple seconds to finish that off. Oh man, I think I'm just gonna sit back in my space seat and chill for a while now. Oh, that was really good. Good night, Ma. That was quite a successful and a delicious stop for a piece of chicken tikka. We are now walking through Timpu city center and the next plan is to go to the Zong. Ying and I just walked over to what is called the Zong and the Zong is the head of the district. So this is, we're in Timpu now and this is the Timpu Zong. So this is where a lot of the government and politics happen, I believe. It's a giant fortress and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get inside because you are normally supposed to come here with a, a Bhutanese guide and Ying and I have no guide so we're just walking up. So I have no idea. I don't actually think we're gonna get in but at least we'll see it from the outside. They let us in, which is really cool. We are inside now and this is kind of a big, huge courtyard. And it's starting to get dark, but wow, it's huge. Right as we were leaving, they turned on all of the lights on the Zong with red lights on the roof and then kind of like golden lights on the very tops. Really beautiful with the lights. We arrived to Dechen's house and we're also hanging out with Cheche and we have, we're sitting here now having a tea and also something called chanke. This is something called chanke which is a fermented rice, kind of, this one, I've had it one other time since being in Bhutan and it was more like a soupy rice soup, but this one is more like a, kind of like a rice pudding and it's fermented as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can smell the butter. It almost smells like bread and butter actually. 
Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's like almost like pudding, like rice pudding with a little bit of a sour fermented taste and then kind of a, a butter aroma to it. That's actually really good. <laughs> I don't like it. Detchen serving the butter tea. Thank you. Okay, Detchen just served me a bowl of butter tea, and this is Rice Krispies, homemade Rice Krispies, which I will add to my butter tea. See it? Mm -hmm. And. Mm. Yeah, that's good butter tea. It has that like roasted flavor to it and just a tiny bit salty and I really like it with the roasted uh, crispy rice in it. It's like, yeah, almost like popcorn. It has a popcorn flavor to it. We are having another snack, kind of an appetizer. This is puri and then this is aludam, which is potatoes with a little bit of spice. Don't have what? And this is a this is a Nepali dish. Oh, you don't exercise. No, not at all. I like to but I can really walk mm. walk better there, watch it. I like to do That is delicious. That's like little fried pieces of dough. Flattened dough. And then yeah, with the potatoes. They're just lightly spiced, a little bit salty, and maybe with just dried chili. Eh okay. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. It's dinner time now. I just dished out some rice and then a couple of different Bhutanese dishes onto my rice. And this one is the emadatsi, which is cheese with chilies. Uh, this one is shakamdatsi with the dried beef and chilies and cheese. Then this is some of the potatoes that we ate earlier, I think. And then this one is. Um, Sikkim with the dried pork and then cabbage and chilies. Let me try. Oh, gotta have some of that dried beef. Oh. Yeah, that is one of my favorite Bhutanese dishes. That cheese sauce, oh, and that, that dried beef is really tender, but really good, like dried beef jerky flavor to it. And those red chilies are actually quite spicy. Mm, that is excellent as well. Nice and kind of a sticky, creamy, cheesy sauce. The green chilies are always delicious. This is some really good home-cooked Bhutanese food. Dinner at Dechen's house. Home-cooked Bhutanese food and the whole uh, experience at her house was really Fantastic, really enjoyed it. So thank you very much to Dechen and thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you tomorrow for a new video. We are gonna head to Punaka.